Let's say you've already made a pumpkin or some other object with model magic and the model magic has sat for a few days, had time to fully harden, and you have some choices on how you finish this. So I'm going to show you two techniques today on the same pumpkin just to give you an idea of what you could do. And I'm going to explain what I have. So I've got a marker, a regular water-based, not washable marker, some gloss Mod Podge paint brushes, some orange temper paint, again, not washable in my paint tray. And I just put a little bit of water in the middle of the uh, paint palette, just so I didn't have to have another container. But typically, you should have another container for your water because this is uh, not a good idea. But just for the sake of this, I have it here because we don't need a lot of water. So first technique that you can do when you have model magic that's already hardened is you can take your marker and you can actually color it. So let's say I want a green stem. I'm going to just color in the parts I want green and you're noticing I can't get into these little areas. It's just so difficult. But that's okay because that's where the trick is going to come in. I'm going to show you how you can fix that problem. All right, so I did get a little on the pumpkin. That's not ideal, but it's okay. It's all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the smallest brush I can find, because this is a small area on my pumpkin, and I'm going to dip it into water. Now, because the marker I used is a water-based marker, what's going to happen is when I apply water from the brush, it's going to sort of liquefy that marker and cause it to spread into any areas that I could not reach. So that looks pretty consistently colored in at this point. Um, and I'd say that's, that's good to go. So that is trick number one. Now you can let that just dry and it will be fine. Um, once it's dry, you can always make it shiny after the fact. So there is the stem fully painted in using a marker and just water on a brush. So that is trick number one. Here's trick number two. You could just paint the rest of the pumpkin orange with orange temper paint, but then you have to worry that temper paint could flake off, it's going to dry kind of dull, um, and then you're going to have to still add a shiny coat of something uh, to make it a little bit nicer or more finished. So what you can do is you can take some Mod Podge. This is the gloss Mod Podge, so it's going to be shiny. And just shake it up really good. And then we're going to put some of this directly into the paint. And now I'm going to mix it in. And this is changing the characteristic of the paint. So now the paint, instead of it being just temper paint that's going to dry kind of dull and still need to be sealed in some way, it has that gloss mixed into it. So it's changing the paint's characteristics so that when you go to use this, when it dries, it's not going to look like temper paint that's just dull and might flake off. This is going to simultaneously at the same time paint and seal your sculpture so that you don't have to do a sealing final step. And you can do the same thing um, with acrylic paint. So if you're using an acrylic paint um, that's already going to have a little shine to it, you might not even want to add the Mod Podge. But if you want it to be even shinier then by all means you can add some of that in um, or add an acrylic gloss medium. And this, the stem here, it's pretty much already dry. Um, so I'm going to use that to sort of hold. And even if I take off some of that green, I can always color it back in afterwards. And I'm just going to switch to my smaller brush to try to get underneath here with the orange. 
because uh, that's really the trickiest part is trying to get into these little areas. But if you can't get into it, it's actually, you know, a little bit better uh, to leave it unpainted uh, than to paint it. Oh, and I forgot that I had some green on my brush. Uh, so it's now mixing in, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So remember to clean your brush, folks, but sometimes it's a happy accident and it actually uh, can make your pumpkin look a little more realistic to have some green. Um, so now I just want to kind of add it in all the places so that it looks intentional and not like just a mistake. All right, so I've got a little, just a cap from, I think this was uh, apple juice, and that's going to hold this up while it, while it dries. And then uh, you just want to make sure that you clean your brushes, wipe them off, and then after you've wiped these, definitely take them over to a sink with some soapy water and to wash that out, especially um, anything that had Mod Podge on it, because you don't want to ruin your brushes. So as soon as you're done, go wash them with soap and water until you don't see any more color coming out. Same goes for your paint palette. So we'll let this dry, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like all finished. Uh, and I kind of like the difference in the shine from the pumpkin to the dull of the stem. It gives it a little bit more dimension. So we'll see you soon when it's dry. This little pumpkin got to dry completely overnight and now it is all ready to be put on display.